Hey y'all, it's Kelly from Dixie Darlings and I'm back with another tutorial for seven days of tutorials using the Dixie Darlings Artist Bowl and Glitter Tape. And this one I'm actually also going to use one of the patterns from the January sub box that Sarah from BAMP Custom Creations allowed me to design with her. She killed it. She brought exactly what my vision was to life in this box. I'm so excited to get it out there. I hope that you guys either have it or you've seen it and all the patterns are listed individually online now where you can purchase them. I'm gonna use this turquoise Aztec pattern that's a semi-transparent over a foil. Then I'm gonna do a strip of another foil and then I'm gonna add one of her sticker cows. And then I'm gonna throw in a little foil dust. And so if you haven't watched, heard about that, watch and stay tuned so you can see how I use it. It comes in all different colors now. We're getting it more colors, so it's so much fun to use. And when you have those foils that don't have a solid adherence sometimes, or you're going for more of the distressed look, and sometimes you get that distressed look and you didn't really mean to do it, these foils are a great little filler for those. So, and I give totally credit to Inspired by Josie. She has amazing TikTok, and I saw her do it first, and I was like, genius. So I thought, hmm, this is the perfect way to fill in all those little spots that need a little touch up. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that as well today. So I will link all the products that I use in the description box below. So make sure you check out those links as well as I'll include some discount codes for y'all. So don't forget your discount codes. Usually it's Kelly 10 or Dixie Darlings, but I'll make sure I include those in the description box for y'all and hop over to my Facebook group. That's where I go live every Sunday night. I get to interact with y'all. That's where I try to keep you up on sales that are going on and specials and giveaways. And we do all kinds of fun things there. So make sure you hop over there and join me there. And let's see what else. Well, well, I'm glad to be here and I hope that you guys enjoy it and I'll see y'all again soon. All right, y'all, I'm starting with a 20 ounce skinny straight from Craft Haven. Y'all know by now, it's probably my favorite cup um, to wrap in any form or fashion. I have sanded it with a 60 grit sanding block and spray painted it with Rust-Oleum metallic gold. And now I've cut this template out. Now you'll see that I've actually cut it out in a pattern, but I decide that I'm just gonna do a full wrap that I didn't want this pattern underneath. So I'm just gonna pull off all of the top part, if that makes sense. So I've cut it down to seven, no, let me think about this, eight inches in width and 9.31 in um, length that goes around the cup, eight inches height. So I've cut the, I've just cut it out in a square. I did have the pattern, the template, but I decided that I just want to do a full wrap on this. So even if you've cut the pattern, the back isn't necessarily cut. So this one came off fairly easy. It wasn't any kind of complicated pattern anyway, where you'd have to take a little bit off at a time. So um, it was just kind of a big geometric pattern. So you'll see it peels off pretty easy. So I'm gonna use this foil. This is called Egyptian from Southern Belle Glitter. I love this. I thought it would be the perfect background for the turquoise Aztec. I had been wanting to use this and I wasn't really sure exactly what I wanted to do with it. I wasn't sure if I was gonna add some patina with it, but it kind of has that distressed look. And I think it's a great foil if you're looking to make a men's cup. I mean, granted, I'm not just, you know, uh, stereotype into the man, but if somebody doesn't want glitter and they just want kind of this, it's almost like a leather patina look. I don't know. It's really pretty. And I know that we're always searching for things to do men's cup with that look manly and that they will appreciate. I will tell you that I did my husband one with this and then added his, just his initials on the side in a very block letter. And it looks you know, very professional. I love the way it turned out. So there's an idea if you're looking for something to do a man's cup with. So I've just wrapped the template around and you can see I just pull off a little bit at a time. Just like when I vinyl wrap, I'm applying pressure to the foil and it's pulling the backing off at the same time. So I never pull all my foil off if I'm doing a full wrap. I mean, all the backing off uh, if I'm doing a full wrap of vinyl or foil. Um, I make a big sticky mess out of it. So this is the way that I do it that prevents me from making a big mess. Sometimes I still get a mess. Um, but you can see how great this foil is, how easy release it is. I'm not even having to use any kind of burnishing stick or anything. I'm just using my finger and I'm basically, as I'm rubbing it down, it's adhering to the cup. You can kind of see where it's separating from the carrier sheet. So I love these foils, um, especially like these that you can see this. So you don't have to wonder like, is it sticking? Is it, am I getting a full trans, you know, is it transferring fully over to the 
um, Dixie Darling's Artist Foil and Glitter Tape. You can see here that it does. It works very well. And I, I honestly, I almost didn't put anything over this, y'all, because I loved it so much. Um, but I'm just going back. You can see at the top and the bottom, you tend to have little places sometimes that don't want to stick first off, or I maybe missed it with my finger when I was rubbing over it the first time. Um, and, and I just try to leave the end still connected to the tape. So that way, if there's any little places I can go back, it's just going to lay right back down on the cup in the first place. So you can see that it came across really good. It's hard to see in the video, but there were some places that I intentionally left where they didn't adhere very well. Now, this is what I was talking about with the foil dust. So, this is also from Southern Bell Glitter. It's a great little foil filler. This is the color Hudson. You can see it's a gold. And I'm going to try to give y'all a really good close-up here where you can see where it's hard to capture on video, but I try to hold it up to the camera here in just a minute so you can really see what it's doing here and all those little holes that it's filling in. This one is holographic. There's also a silver holographic. She's got a magenta, a violet, a purple, or kind of an indigo color. And then there's more colors coming. So you can see here, I'm trying to show you guys how at the top right here, that it's filling in those little places that did not, um, that the foil didn't stick to. And then I take a paper towel and you can just rub it off. So it's not going to stick to the foils where you don't want it to. If I'm doing a full foil wrap, I'm trying to be really careful with getting the excess off typically I will take a paper towel with a little rubbing alcohol and wipe over it. If I'm doing a full foil, I try not to do that. So then this is the sheet from the Dixie Darlings Banff Custom Creations collab box. It was in the January subscription box. She does a monthly subscription box. And then this year she's allowed me to design the January one. She just released that Jessica Flynn's going to design the February one. So y'all stay tuned for those patterns. I've seen them and they're going to be great. But these patterns are for sale now individually on her website. This one is a semi-transparent. So all those clear spaces in between are going to be clear. And then there's a white that's printed on the back of the color. So you can put it on any color background. So I basically just trim this down to fit the cup where I won't have edges that look like they don't belong, if that makes sense. So I just kind of trimmed the pattern out where it's the full pattern on the cup, made sure that it fit the cup. And then I'm just gonna wrap this just like I would any vinyl. I'm just taking, I'm cutting the little edge of the backing off first. I place that down, then I make sure my line, my that I'm all square on the cup, and then I'll take the backing, and as I'm pressing the bottle on the cup, it removes the backing. Now, y'all, I did not seal the foil or the glitter dust or anything, um, the foil dust behind this. I just went right in on top of it. I didn't do a layer of epoxy. I literally applied the Dixie Darlings Artist Foil and Glitter Tape. I put the foil down on it. I used some foil dust, and now I'm applying this all before I'm going to add a layer of epoxy. So, I feel like I'm talking a lot in this, but <laughs> I just want to make sure that I've tried to convey everything that I did in the cup and reiterate it for anybody that has questions. Um, this lays really smooth, and you can see here what I mean by semi-transparent. The color area of the vinyl shows up great because it's got white printed on the back. And then the rest of it, when, once you put epoxy over it, you won't even tell that there's vinyl on there. And I'm actually going to add a little of the foil dust into the epoxy. It's a very fine glitter. I've gotten a lot of questions about what's the difference between it and Micah's. It's a little bit grittier like a glitter but definitely similar, kind of a mix between a micro glitter and a mica. So, um, and you can see here, I'm adding Hudson in again. I just wanted to give it a little bit of sparkle over the turquoise and black areas, and it doesn't take very much. I just take my popsicle stick and just add a little bit in there, and then I'm mixing this in. This is Countercultures Medium Viscosity Artist Resin. I've got about 20 milliliters mixed up here, and I'm just going to mix the foil dust right into my epoxy, and then I'm gonna apply that to my cup. And then here I'm gonna go in on my Bowen Turner. Sorry y'all, I have been bragging on my Bowen Turners lately. They are so quiet and I love them. I have tur I had Turners that I bought off Amazon that I used for years, y'all, and they made so much noise. So sorry if I brag on it a little bit, but I'm obsessed with the fact that it's so quiet and I can sit here and work with basically nine of them turning all day and I don't have to listen to it. So I'm just gonna apply this coat of the epoxy 
um, to the cup. I'm going to use my torch to pop any bubbles. And then I'm going to let this coat dry for about six to eight hours before I go in and start adding. Um, I'm actually going to add another strip of the Artist Foil and Glitter Tape, the Dixie Darlings tape over it, and another foil. And then I'm going to do another upper coat of epoxy and then my decal. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so after I've let that dry, I have just cut a strip here. It's just a one inch strip that I used my cutter to trim down um, of the Dixie Darlings Artist Foil and Glitter Tape. So I decided that I want to add the Patina Cowhide Foil. I think it would just bring it all together, throw a little pink foil dust in there um, to see what magic I can make happen with it. And so um, you can see here, instead of having to tape the cup off and spray paint it or add glitter or brush on your adhesive, you basically can just take these strips and create almost a split cup here. I mean, it's not almost, it really is. But this I'm just gonna use as an accent piece here to just go right around the center. So I've cut it in the one inch strip. I'm just lining it up. You can see I just pulled a little bit off the back till I made sure it was straight. And then here, I'm just trying to line it up where it's right in the middle of that little Aztec design. So it looks like that it's centered well once the cup is completed. And so I just pull my backing off as I'm pressing it around. And then I'm just gonna trim it right there at the seam. And then once I do that, I've just cut a little strip of the Patina Cowhide Foil. I love this foil. I've used it as full wraps. I've used it as accents. I've used it distressed. Um, you can see, I just thought it would be a good little, just a little touch of that to mix in to bring out that Southwest flair in this cup. So I'm just applying my foil, I'm pressing it down and it's pulling the backing off at the same time. I did, you see, I didn't pull the strip off there to allow the foil to adhere all at one time. I just did a little bit of section as I was pressing it down. And then I'm just going back, same thing. And I'm kind of intentionally leaving some distressed areas here. You can see where there's not a full transfer. I'm kind of doing that on purpose because I'm gonna go back in with this foil dust and the color is Rachel. And it's a really pretty magenta pink color that I thought this will kind of tie in. You can see the decal sitting here to my right. And you can see it's Rachel from Southern Belle Glitter. And you can see the decal has that hot pink in it. I wanted to bring a little bit of that into the design in the background so it didn't look like it just stood out. So you can see I'm just taking my glove, I'm just dipping it down in the foil dust, and then I'm just rubbing it um, down into the foil right there. And since this cup is, a cup is epoxied, it's not gonna stick. And this is where, when I don't have a full wrap of the foil on top, I'm gonna take my paper towel and I'm just gonna get a little bit of rubbing alcohol and then I'll just wipe the cup off so it'll remove any of that excess glitter that I don't want. So around the top and the bottom a little bit where it wants to, just where the edging is, it's not really sticking to it, but that paper towel with the rubbing alcohol will get it just right off. So you can see here's my paper towel. It rubs off all the excess that I don't want that might stick on my cup, but it leaves it in there where those areas where the foil adhesive was still, um, or when the double-sided tape was still sticky a little bit, that just fills it right in. And I wanted to make sure that you guys can see this really good. It does have a holographic. It is it has a little sparkle to it. Um, it's really so pretty. Um, and I thought it just adds the perfect little filler in there, especially to these distress patterns. And a lot of people think that the epoxy repels the... Uh, the foils repel the epoxy, but they actually don't. It's the adhesive. So this is actually fills those little places in that before might create some fish eyes. Now, those little places where the double-sided tape would be exposed, now it's filled in with the foil dust, so it doesn't have the tendency to repel the epoxy. So I am going back in here with another layer after I do this little strip here. Um, I didn't want the decal to be to have that crease in it from where I laid that strip down. So I did want it to be smooth before I put the decal on. So this is Counterculture's Medium Viscosity. Again, I'm using 20 milliliters. I'll go in and do this. I'll use my torch to pop any bubbles and then I'll let this dry for another six to eight hours before I'm gonna go in and add my decal. And now I'm actually gonna do the bottom of the cup. I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do. So it took me a little while to decide here. And I was gonna leave it just spray painted, but then I decided that it needed something else. So I am gonna go in here with that same foil that I used. And you can see I'm just taking some foil adhesive. This foil adhesive is from Southern Bell Glitter. And I'm just taking my paintbrush and I'm painting it on. Now I'll show you a little trick with the rubbing alcohol once I get this on here, because I want it to blend in as best I can. I don't want it to be like a straight 
complete line around the bottom of the cup. So you will see me add a little bit more foil adhesive here than normal, but I'm gonna go back in with my paper towel and my rubbing alcohol, and I'm gonna kinda just stress it around the edges where it will blend in a little bit better. It won't just be that stark line. So I'm gonna add my foil adhesive. I will use my heat gun to just dry that. Uh, just quicker, you can just let it dry by itself. But the main thing is, is you want it clear. You don't want it to be white when you go apply your foil. And then I'm just gonna take the little piece of the foil and I'm gonna press it down. I'm gonna make sure to get the edges really quick. Um, because that's really the main part that you want to blend in. This is not so bad because of the gold. You could kind of distress it, but you'll see there's areas that kind of look just like stark. So first of all, I'm going to go in here and I thought I was going to use the Rachel and the Hudson again. I ended up using more of the Hudson because I like the gold. And then I do run it around the edges just so it, it, it tends to blend in with the cup better. So I thought a little holographic at the bottom would blend in a little bit better. But then I'm going to go with my rubbing alcohol after that and kind of distress it. So I'm just going to let you guys watch this process. I did use a little bit of the Rachel, the pink foil dust, but more of the Hudson. Um, I just like the way it tend to blend it in better. Then here I'm taking my rubbing alcohol and I'm kind of just making random streaks. You can see. So I don't want to rub it all off. I just want to kind of, it almost like pulls it down. And that way it gives it more of the distressed look. So sorry, it was a little bit out of camera here, y'all. Sometimes when I hold it right close to my face, it's hard not to get the top of my head and for y'all to see. So I apologize for that. And then I'm going to do another layer of epoxy. And this is going to be my final coat. So I love how this turned out. I think it all pulled it together. And it definitely has that Southwest feel that I was going for. So I will link all the products that I use in the description box below. I hope that you guys enjoyed the final design. Please tag me and show me your creations. I love to see what y'all create. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all again soon.